Right. So it's been what, like three weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks since we left off and we we're pressure washing the motor. It's been crazy weather. Texas weather. Texas weather. Cold, hot, cold, hot. Today's hot, so working on it. Right now we're fishing, finishing up on the valve stem seals. See, we see we're replacing these. This is the exhaust side. And then uh, he can show you the one that we just took off. Those are old ones. Yeah. They're scarred on the side because due to the tool. Yeah. Removing them. So. Yeah. They're not messed up from the engine like that. Yeah. So yeah, we're. They're, they're crusty. Crusty and old. That's why you get you get smoke when you're running, you're burning smoke. The valves get all stuck. But we're on the last ones, last two. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but I've been using this tool, I can't remember the name of it, but I picked it off of Amazon, it's a valve stem spring removal tool, comes with this, and this, this uses to put them back on, the spring retainers, the clips, and then this you use to put over it over the valve spring like that and then you'll hit it with the hammer and it locks them up there's a magnet inside here that holds the clips but uh i'll show you how to do one let me zoom in focus focus Sorry, camera all right i'll show you do one set it over it just hit with a hammer nice and solid and then you see they come off like that let me see focus see comes off this comes off and then inside here the spring clips stay inside there with the magnet and then uh it's gonna take them off and you take the valve springs out set them to the side and i got this tool right here I think it's a spark plug stem removal, but you could use it as this. It has little teeth in there. I got it on Amazon also. But you'll grab it and you'll just kind of snug it. They're, they're on there snug. It'll take a couple of times to get them out. Especially the exhaust side. They're a little more stuck on there. Oh no. There it goes. You can see it comes off. That one's missing the spring. It's missing the spring? Yeah. But you see how it's torn up right there? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a little spring that goes on the outside of them. See right there? But I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere in there. Let's see, if it, see if it catches. A small little spring. I don't know. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll do any damage. Well, let's take out the other one and see what it does. Yeah. We'll take out the dual. Maybe it fell behind the springs. And these are. Duals. Yeah, you got dual valve springs on this one. The B16A2. We're not sure if they come with dual valve springs, but this one come with dual valve springs on the intake and exhaust side. He picked this motor up used from a guy, right? When he bought the car, that was boosted. It was a boosted motor, but we're not sure if the B16s came with dual valve springs on both sides. Comment in below if you have. A if you know if you know the knowledge of these if they come with single or duals because we're thinking it doesn't and we might be wrong but yeah. maybe y'all can answer that question for us oh you want to show them a cab uh a camshaft maybe you see oh yeah because we're not sure on the markings on the camshaft I guess it'll be 
It'll be here somewhere. Well, it'll be, I think it'll be marked in. If it has engraved on their ITR, are these real ITRs? We don't know. We didn't see trend on the side. I didn't see. I don't know. If they're supposed to have grooves. But. Well, no. It says ITR on it, but. I don't think they're supposed to be engraved. It's but. like engraved with a metal etcher or something. I, I, I guess like with a Dremel. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll do some more research on those too. But let me continue on. Take off the other one. See where that spring comes up. Let's see if we find that little bit spring that was in there. Do the same thing. The other one. Get a little hit with the hammer. Comes off. You put the stuff to the side. I'm trying to keep them separated. I, mean, I don't think of it. I don't know if it matters, but just left and right. Left and right. As we're going. Oh yeah, there is a spring. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little spring. A little, little spring in there. And that's where it goes, straight there, over the boot. It goes on top of that. You want to try to make sure you find that, because, I mean, who knows? It's metal, so if it gets in there and bearings, whatever, it could make some damage. But get that and we'll throw it away. And then we'll show you the... Yeah. Put them back in. Let me take the other valve. Them all. Yeah, these are pain in the ass. Right. And the spring's on there. And then when you put them back in, just slide them over the stem all the way down. And you can use a, a 10, number 10 socket. Perfect size. You hit it in, fit it in there, over it. And just hammer it slightly and you'll feel like a little thud sound like a little like where it's solid where it means it went all the way down let me do the same thing with the other one push it in there same thing you hear that little thud you know you're all the way down like that anymore now springs you do reverse Back in when you put the clips, I'm gonna put the clips back in. Well, let's show them the clips in here. Right? Take out the cover. These are the little clips right here. See how they stay in there? Yeah, and they, they remove they, it. They hold on to the valve stem right here and they go in there. Then we just take them out. You want to make sure you don't drop these into back into the engine. We've already yeah. had a couple of them fall. Yeah, we dropped two. Yeah, we already had two strikes. There's two. one half. We're luckily on the first one. It went all the way down to the oil pan. We were able to pull that clip out, save it. And the second one, we turned the motor upside down and it fell out. So we got lucky twice. Here they are right there. You're going to sit them back in because they're kind of... They kind of go down, like, how do you say, cone-shaped? They're cone-shaped. Yeah, so you can see right there, well, you can see they're kind of, like, uneven. They have a the taper. Yeah, yeah, they're, like, tapered, like a cone. So they're going to go back in there with the taper down, the smaller part down and the wider part up, just like that. Yeah, you put them in there like that. The spring's in there. This sits on top of the spring. Then sits on top of the spring. And then this other part of the tool goes like that inside the other piece. Just slides right in. And it has this little clip. It's like a spring. It, it goes in and it holds the C-clips in place when you hammer it back in. So set it in. And you have it like that. Set it in. And now the sun went away. But set it in there. Put it on top very carefully. We don't drop those clips. And then set it over it. 
and it says we're on an engine stand you kind of want to hold the engine down just a little bit just to keep it from moving you hit it and it goes in and then going all the way and try it again and again and then it went and now we got that one done I'm gonna do the other one the last one here same thing and you gotta be careful with these clips too because if you don't hammer it in straight they will fall and you hopefully don't fall into the oil passages you know, hold these things up so you want to make sure you got it in nice and straight and then we'll go one good hit and nope it didn't go in yet try it again not yet and we're in also too what we did to hold the valves up you gotta stuff a piece of rope see like we did right there to get a long piece of rope you don't have to be maybe like maybe what 5 16 quarter inch maybe yeah thick. It, it's a real thin rope you can pick up at your local hardware store come in rolls twine it's like plastic twine or nylon. With nylon and what you do you get the other side and then uh we're well, gonna make sure you got the top dead center all the way up all the way down on the one you're working on on the set you're working on you make sure it's all the way down and then you'll stuff the rope as far as much as you could get it in there and then once you still get once the rope don't go in there anymore you tighten the crank with it to make sure the piston goes up as far as it can and you'll see what this one going down that means this side's going up and then as far as it goes and it should hold the valves in place because then if you don't do that and you, as soon as you take those springs off the valves are going to fall and, and then you'll be the you'll have to take off the whole head this is like a cheater way it's like a cheater way but we're all done with these those the last two doing the valve stem room seals and then uh well now we're gonna get the motor prepped for paint cleaned up primed and painted for the day and uh we'll show you that here in a bit too but i thought i'd show you that a little trick i picked up on youtube too i saw a video from from a few years back but i did the same thing to my ls motor too and it worked it stopped the smoking on my motor rough rough starts rough starts too start. they'll have rough cold starts because that oil builds up overnight and it gets into the the pistons and stuff like that and the valves and my motor has 221,000 miles and i change the valves themselves and it starts up in the morning right up don't smoke no nothing so it's a good thing to do if you got if you're burning oil but we'll get back with you here in a minute we're gonna clean off the motor get some primer on it painted and start putting it back together with new new gaskets new water pump and etc but we'll get back to you here in a little bit <laughs> 